In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss binomial distributions and I'm going to flip some coins. What's the probability of flipping a coin six times, getting heads or tails, and flipping it six times and getting exactly two tails? Each flip of the coin is a trial and that's going to be n. In this case, it's going to equal to six. Success is tails and we're looking for exactly two tails. The probability of success is one half and also probability of failure is one half. I will show you the calculation for getting zero tails and also the calculation for getting six tails. But first, what is the probability of getting exactly two tails? The formula that I will use is this one, where PK is probability of success. This N and K in brackets, I'm going to rewrite over. I'm not going to read it to you, but I'm going to fill it in with numbers in a moment. And I will bring down the rest of the equation. Now for some numbers. There are six trials. Flipping a coin six times. Two successes, two tails. The probability of success is one half, and the probability of failure is one half. So I'm going to write P, and instead of putting a K, I'm going to put two for two tails, two successes. And this is equal to six trials, or six factorial, divided by two factorial for the successes, okay. Trials minus successes, or six minus two, six minus two successes. all this factorial times p or one half raised to the k power or two power this one half squared q which is also one half raised to the n minus k power so it's n minus k which is six minus two i'm going to work on this part of the equation first so I have 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial, and 6 minus 2 is 4, or 4 factorial there. This is equal to 6 factorial, which is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, divided by 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, times 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, I'll make things easy on myself and cancel out this 4, 3, 2, 1 there with this 4, 3, 2, 1 there. Now I have 6 times 5 divided by 2. And this is equal to 15. Just so you're clear, this is combinations. I'll put a link to a video on combinations below. But what this says is, if I roll a coin 6 times, there's 15 different ways I can get 2 tails. I'm not going to go through them all, but there's 15 different ways I can get two tails. I will put a link to a video on combinations below. Now I will work on the rest of the equation. So I have the probability of 2 is equal to 15 times 1 half squared times 1 half 6 minus 2, which is 1 half to the fourth power. And now I'll move that over. This is equal to, it's equal to 15. One half squared is one fourth times one half to the fourth power is one over 16. And this is equal to 15 divided by 64. And this is equal to 0.2343 or about 23% of the time. If I take a coin and flip it six times, the probability of me getting exactly two tails is 23%. And what's the probability of flipping a coin six times and getting no tails, all heads? I set up the problem the same way. And this time I'll have zero instead of two. And the probabilities are still one half. So I have P of zero is equal to six factorial divided by k factorial or zero factorial and you'll see in a minute that's one times n minus k 
which is 6 minus 0 factorial, which you'll see that's a 6 factorial in a minute, times 1 half to the 0 power, this times 1 half for the q, Put 1 half over here, and this is all to the n minus k power, or 6 minus 0 power. So let me work on this first half of the equation right here. And this is equal to, I'll simplify it, 6 factorial divided by 0 factorial, which is just 1, and times 6 factorial. These 6s cancel out, so this is just equal to 1. There is only one way to get all heads. Now I will finish up the rest of the problem. I'll move my 1 over to there. This is times 1 half to the 0 power times 1 half to the 6 minus 0 power, which is 1 half to the 6th power. So now I have 1. This is all equal to 1 times 1 half to the 0 power, which is 1 also, times 1 half to the 6th power, which is 1 over 64. So this is equal to 1 divided by 64, or point zero one five six or 1.5%. So there's a 1.5% chance of getting all heads if I roll a coin 6 times. So what's the probability of rolling a coin six times and getting all tails? Well, it's going to be the same. I am not going to go through all the steps, but here's how you'd set up the problem. And this is also equal to 1.5%. The probability of rolling a coin and getting six tails is this top part right here. And the probability of rolling a coin and getting no tails or zero tails is the bottom part here. And they both are equal to the same thing. This is true because the probability of success and failure are equal here. And they're both one half. And that will do it. Share the knowledge, share the love. Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Links to videos below. Subscribe, please. Like my videos. It helps other people find them. And good luck in your classes.